If you build it, they will come. That's the approach one Middle Tennessee County is taking when it comes to future economic development. Sumner County Commissioners are taking the first step to attract new industry to the area. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us from the smart screen with more on the project. Emily? Well, yeah, commissioners just gave preliminary approval for funding to study this land in Gallatin. It's about 1,000 acres, and it's bordered here by Highway 109, as well as some railroad tracks right along here. And supporters say this is the perfect location for a large industrial business that would bring jobs and an economic boost to the area. This land may be the key to new economic development in Sumner County. I can't begin to tell you what the future for Sumner County would be like in 10 years if this project is complete and, the one, and, uh, and companies take uh, advantage of the 109 corridor. That's why the Commissioner threat, Jerry Foster and other members of the Sumner County Budget exactly Committee like approved $250,000 to find out if this site could be the new home of an industrial business. It's inevitable that we are going to grow. So we can either plan for the growth or we can do ad hoc growth. And it's much better to plan for the growth. The decision comes on the heels of a controversial 23% property tax increase. And word the county will budget $20 million for economic development this fiscal year. Move us Sumner up. County Executive it's Anthony Holt sale. says the goal is to invest in the county. And this is part of the economic plan that we're going to use this, this taxpayer money to move not just Sumner County and our cities forward, but the entire region. <laughs> Sumner County already received one recent economic boost when Italian gunmaker Beretta announced it's moving its U.S. manufacturing to Gallatin. County leaders believe other companies and jobs will follow if the proper preparations and philosophy are in place now. We're all in this together and we want to succeed and we're going to succeed and we've just got to see the vision because if you make the investment today, it's going to pay off in the future. I am excited, uh, so excited about this project, and I'm very hopeful that it goes forward. The full county commission will vote whether to approve the funding to study the site at the next meeting at the end of the month. If the money is approved and the land is viable, everything would be in place for a new company to move in quickly. Rory? Several other companies are headed to Middle Tennessee. In addition to Beretta, last year, Hancock Tire announced it will open a plant in Clarksville. Under Armour starts hiring for its distribution center in Mount Juliet. And, of course, Bridgestone broke ground on the company's new headquarters in Nashville.